Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimera Dimensions New Game Minus 5 video, episode 6. And I've done a little bit of off camera grinding, not that much. I just got three time dimension shifts and two dimension boosts for now. And it is a possibility I could try to go for four time dimension shifts, but I calculated it. It's like I need about E27 antimatter for that. Or somewhere in that range, like five octillion, and it, and it resets my dimension boost when I time dimension shift. So that's the reason why I'm not going through this reset. And I noticed a couple of things. First of all, I really I found out what this actually does, and this upgrade it makes this percentage go up twice as fast. It basically nerfs the challenge two effect. However, it's still even. At eight times faster and time speed of one over 125 times it still takes about an hour for it to get to 100 percent and that's from my calculations but it feels like way more than an hour it feels more like, like if i just like empirically do this it's like zero one two three it's about three seconds for 0.01 percent that means it's about thirty thousand seconds which is and then it rid of eight hours. So maybe the time speed doesn't affect the challenge two at all because it, it would have been like, it actually would have been less than an hour. It would have been like 48 minutes or something. So yeah, that's at least it's, at least it's only eight hours instead of days. But yeah, you can just see how, how noticeable that is. And the matter increases slower. Unfortunately, it's only a linear upgrade, so there really isn't all that much I can do other than wait. Like, you can see it's... I'm getting time shards quicker to the point where, like, I can really start making antimatter, but none of the cheapest thing costs 15 antimatter, and I don't want to spend that because it's going to reset this percentage thing, so... Yeah, I'm just going to try to, again, push as far as I can. I don't think I'll be able to make it to a galaxy. I'm just going to try to get about another 256 Paradox points so I can possibly get something like buying something that reduces matter. Paradox Dimensions are very weak. I don't know why I spent almost all my Paradox points on Paradox Dimensions because here's the thing. Um, this was at, like... This is not yeah nine minutes fifty two seconds. It was a, it was in the low to mid nine minutes before, so that isn't really like. And also these upgrades are just not very powerful. I mean maybe they're more powerful later on, and this may go to like ten or eleven minutes. But still, the ten or eleven minutes of that versus like multi hour runs, like it's not going to make a difference. Like, doing something like buying something that reduces matter, even if it, like... I, I don't know how much it reduces matter, though. But, like, even something like this. It, it basically, going from three to four, that makes it so I have four-thirds the length of time. Um, if, if I get the same exact amount of antimatter. So that would change something like eight hours to twelve hours. Not something like nine minutes to eleven minutes. Two minutes versus four hours. You can see how that is. So I should probably get something like this instead of getting any more Paradox Dimensions. But anyway, until then, it's going to do the usual grinding up to uh, 26 Dimensions. Maybe I can get a Galaxy. I'm not sure about that. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like maybe 12-ish hours later and... I have two dimension boosts. I'm not fully into the run yet, but I just wanted to note how there is an hour and 30 minutes remaining, meaning that the four thirds is definitely doing something. And the the dimension multiplier increases two times faster. It's just speeding up how I do these runs. Like I, I basically, I try, I try to buy something and whenever there's a new dimension, like normal dimension unlocked because it boosts this multiplier and there's also plenty of other things and i just buy everything i can this is why there's like one here because i could buy this i also bought infinity dimensions and time dimensions or at least the last two and and the thing i can i can still buy stuff like this because it doesn't reset this but if i buy max 
for whatever reason it does reset this multiplier, which is weird, but something something I'm just getting used to. So I feel like I have enough time now that I can probably just like leave this on for hours and hours without having to like use the no offline progress so that it doesn't so that my matter doesn't catch up to my antimatter. But yeah, see you when I get when I can get even more paradoxes. Okay, I'm back like another couple days later, and I have pushed basically as far as I can go. And I, well, I still have two dimension boosts. I did not get another dimension boost. I still have only three time dimension shifts, but you can see it's now counting down the paradox part. And it's actually, it's a lot more than five minutes because of how the antimatter is increasing, so the matter has to catch up to that as well, at least that's what I think it is. And all the way I'm at E36, that is still not really close to 2E43. I can get 330 paradoxes, so this is going to give me one upgrade. And I have an idea here. Because matter is actually less of a concern now than it was before, because you can see it's up to 100% and I'm not really able to, it's just, you can see the antimatter really, the antimatter per second is very slow. Even if it was, if matter wasn't a concern, even after a week it wouldn't take very long, so, or, or I wouldn't get very far. So that's why I'm going to buy second dimension multiplier is raised to a power. I know it's weak, it's only to the 1.05 power. At this point, I kind of need to push my antimatter. It's now less about reducing the matter. So I'm going to do this. And now my unspent paradox is up from 28 to 102. So this will boost this. It's up to, it looks like, one galaxy's worth. Or at least one infinity challenge three galaxies worth. And I'm also going to do something a, bit, a little bit different this time here. And this is, well, first of all, I'm not going to buy any paradox dimensions. Those are like a scam at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push all the way to four time dimension shifts, which requires about two E27 antimatter. That should be possible. I might need to do one dimension shift to get the fourth time dimension shift, but get the fourth time dimension shift. I didn't really show this, but I had like 60 third time dimension shifts and or the third time dimensions and like a trillion first time dimensions so doing this would get me a lot more tick speed upgrades it would probably get me like i don't know 50 60 more tick speed upgrades it's probably at least like a few tick speed boosts worth of tick speed upgrades even though i'm i haven't even unlocked tick speed boosts yet so that's what i'm gonna do it's gonna take a while but i think i can do it so yeah see in a bit Okay, I'm back after like a couple days or maybe just a single day and it's impossible to reach the required amount of antimatter. It's like, it's only 19, so it's actually only about 3E26, but I have something in the range of 1E23, which might seem kind of close, but I just don't think I'm quite going to make it. I can do this, which will help a little, but you can see 17. I'm so close. It, actually, it might be possible. It's some of my calculations wrong, and maybe it's a little less than 20. I need only one septillion antimatter for this, which might bring it into the realm of possibility. Or no, I don't need one septillion. I need I need like 20. I need somewhere around 22 septillion which that that's about 2e25 i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it though and i think it's it might actually just be faster just to take the the, the single dimension shift so that's what i'm gonna do because having a fifth dimension which is really just a first dimension really really helps things if, because of just how like, I can get more antimatter that way. And it, and it boosts some of the other dimensions. So, or it actually, it just gives a extremely minor boost to the first dimension. But 
yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm only going to lose one dimension shift from the time dimension shift, which shouldn't be that hard to gain back. So, yeah, see in another bit. Okay, I'm back like 12 hours later, and notably, this is now the highest I've ever seen. It, it hit an hour and 45 minutes, but and it has since fallen a little bit, but that is okay. I can easily get well over 19 fourth time dimensions and get a time dimension shift. So this is really the last one I'm going to realistically be going for because the cost scaling is probably even crazier than it already was, which is already probably pretty crazy. And the fifth time, like the fifth time dimension, it's going to produce the third time dimension. So this is going to, this is going to be pretty good. I mean, the sacrifice is that I lose my one dimension shift, but it isn't. It can't, shouldn't be that hard to reach one dimension shift. And once I get one dimension shift, I notice like I was in the non-millions, and I didn't even purchase some of the stuff. Like, I think it's gonna be pretty easy to get all the way to the well, definitely the second dimension shift. But I don't know, E thirty-five, E forty. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get. I'm not really sure what I should go for after that. There's the Dimension Boost, which barely does anything. But other than that, I guess it's just more waiting. And although this is starting to starting to be a little bit faster, unfortunately, it is still quite slow. So see in a bit. Okay, I'm back maybe 10-15 minutes later, and I have enough antimatter to get the fifth time dimension. So let, let's see how much this is. 160, it's going to scale, oh my god, 24,000. What is that? That's like a, that's 150, I think, time scaling, if I'm doing my math right. Ouch. Okay, so yeah, I'm definitely not getting any more time dimension shifts. Uh, should I get this? Probably not. I'll just, I'll just get this instead, honestly, and I'll get one fourth time dimension. And I'll just about to do the rest and six speed upgrades. And I lied, I'm gonna get more of these just to jumpstart some of the boost. And so now I have fifth time dimensions. It isn't really all that notable right now, but I think later on things will start getting a little bit faster. Well, maybe not now. I need to get the dimension shifts first. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all of that off camera. I'm just, I'm only recording this so I could see what the fifth the fifth time dimensions do and yeah see in a bit okay i'm back like i don't know how much later probably just a few hours and i have two dimension boosts and i'm ready to get the third so here we go this is this is the most amount of resets i've ever had four time dimension shifts three dimension shifts hopefully this will be this will allow me to hit e 40 something or whatever the e43 antimatter i need for an antimatter galaxy i also the time i saw this hit an hour and 48 minutes so that is interesting but unfortunately just like every other time it's still gonna take a long time even with all of these boosts i have an additional eight times multiplier to my first dimension and i like the good multiplier to my second dimension I'm getting infinity power. I'm getting tick speed upgrades quicker than ever. I even got, I didn't even tell you this, I got the infinite time achievement. I had 318 tick speed upgrades. It's still not enough. I mean, this reward is not really useful. But, yeah, see another bit. And now I'm to what you could consider to be perhaps the fastest part of these runs, where I can get all these first dimensions and get all the infinity dimensions and then also get some time dimensions here and my antimatter dimension or antimatter per second quickly goes back up to where it was it was at like 40 ish and it probably only takes 15 seconds or something or maybe more like 20 25 seconds to get back up there but normally takes minutes or even hours so that's i mean that's an improvement but this is again the fastest part of the run so this is what i'm dealing with see in a bit okay i'm back like a couple of days later and you can see i have not gone to a galaxy unfortunately this is 
kind of my limit. Three dimension boosts, four time dimension boosts, and about three E38 antimatter, which is good for 365 paradox points, but still several orders of magnitude off a galaxy. So this means I have another choice of what upgrade to get, and that, that'll be for next episode. So hope you enjoyed. Peace out.